hey what's up so in this uh, video somebody asked me how do you log each the login so how would you track the logins so let me show you database so we have users table and logins table so we are storing every login of user so every time user logs into our system we are storing storing this uh, these login logs in this table logins table so so that we know from where these uh, users are logging in from which device they are logging in and all other information about login so how do we do that so if you have a new laravel project if you go to app http controllers inside auth folder you got this login controller so if you see this login controller you just see this amount of code and you got confused way to write that code so that code should be um, written inside after so after user user is authenticated and user types in email and password so laravel checks whether these uh, password and email uh, are correct if they are correct then laravel allows them to log inside our system so after laravel authenticates or verifies if uh, credentials are correct then that is the time to save our entry inside logins table so by the way i have this login.php and this is just pointing to logins this logins table and this table just contains this ip address and device that's it so let's go back to login controller and here if you see there is this trait just go inside this and there is login method so this method handles login request of application so it validates login it does uh, these stuffs like just check if there are uh, too many login attempts too many login attempts and all right so this is the code we are interested in so after login is verified so attempt login returns true then we send the login response so what you can do is you can just overwrite this method into your login controller and just put your custom code in this location but what i will do is i will just overwrite this method instead so instead of just copying pasting this method there let's go to this send login response uh, method this is inside so it, this is you can see just below here yeah so send login response the so i will just copy this code from this authenticates user you cannot just write this code here because this lives inside vendor directory and every time you run composer update it will be overwritten so you cannot write uh, our custom code here so if that wouldn't be inside vendor directory i would have written like this so login create and then i will create our new code that will just store the login detail what i'll do is i'll just copy this method inside our login controller so we are using this and if we overwrite that here everything will work and this method will be called after successful login so after successful login we'll create entry on our login table so you know how to do that login create and here I'll put user ID first. User ID will be auth ID. And similarly, IP address will get from request. So I think there is IP method. Similarly, we get device name also from request. I think user agent or something like that. Yeah, user agent get client user agent so this will create new entry inside login table all right so let's try login in with this user with user id one with user and password oops so we forgot to import this class that's why that error is so illuminate http request now let's refresh all right so we are logged in and we can see our entry here so user id ip address and device name that's it 